Hello and welcome to Pokemon Leaf Green part. Hello to you. Five or six. Five or five, six. Five, five. Five. We've just escaped Viridian Forest. We've had a little bit more grinding to get our Pokemon ready for the upcoming battle. And let's head into Pewter City. So I have to say it like that because I'm a man. There's a fat guy here. Ah, so many fat people. All these fat people in Pokemon games, eh? Oh, yeah, it's because of Fly, that's why. <laughs> that's, that's, the, exactly. that's, the, that's the reason there. Let's go to the gym. Which is which way? I don't know. It's not that way. <laughs> you just walked past it. It's to the left. No, I didn't walk past you it. You well did. You were like, you walked up that road. Oh. And then walked past it. That. Oh, that's it. Yeah, come on now. What's with the brown roof? That's terrible that up looks in rough. there. I'm moving there. That was oh, my gym. Oh, no, she's not. Oh, good. That was my gym. I throw up. She's, got the, she's got the look of one of those people who tries to stop you and talk to you about something pointless. Da, 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 so, this is our first badge, let's potentially. Make sure that's Oh, yeah, that's of course, yeah. He hasn't got a water gun yet, but we're hoping bubbles enough. Well, you. Oh, I hate oh, yeah. this guy. Do you want to dream big? Well, I suppose. Do, do, I always imagine this guy has a South, South African accent. I'm no trainer, but I think I can advise you on how to win. Sorry, South Africa. Because <laughs> he's like, um, oh, have you seen this shit, Ryan? No. Oh, is that the guy from that? I can't remember his name. <laughs> he just reminds me of that guy. I don't know why. Uh, you guys will have seen this shit, Nine, right? You guys, you guys are cool. Brock looks so cool. He does. He's on his little <gasps> oh. rock pedestal. Good cook as well. Is he? Fine cook, Brock. Why doesn't he want to come with us? I mean, why is he? I I'd love to. I'd like Brock and Misty. He wants to, to go with us. Ash. Oh no, he wants to go with Ash. It'd be funny if, like, if Lieutenant Surge decided to go along with Ash as well. <sighs> yeah. Team Rocket just punch him out. <laughs> Take my ride, you will ya? I think not. <laughs> I sincerely disagree. Uh, I do like Lieutenant Surge, but he is a beast. He does look bad. He though. is hard to beat. He is for us. He's tricky. I mean, you guys all know his Raichu. Ooh. His Raichu is incredible. And that, 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 I mean, spoilers, the trash can. Oh, the bloody switching uh, system. Defense curl will not help expect, you, Sandro. <laughs> expect a good few videos from us when we get to that. Yeah, just warning expect you right now. To dilly dally around that for, long, for a long time. <laughs> I don't even know what I just uh, said. Please give us water gun. He's got to. Yeah, here comes water gun. <laughs> Here it is. Top we tip. Squirtle lands water gun at level 13. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Duh. And then we can get rid of tail whip at last. I like, I kind of prefer tail whip to withdraw, I don't know why. Boom. Tail whip's the opposite of withdraw, isn't it? It damages their defense rather than raising ours. So it Ooh. pretty much does the same. Oh. It's on a level playing field. <laughs> oh, on me. Darn. Light years isn't time. It measures distance. All right, thanks for that. See, we taught him something in top, beating his ass so day. bad. He said we're light years from facing Brock. Oop. Wow. All right, Brock. You move fast. The I think probably one of the annoying things about gym trainers in this game is that they talk too much. When you beat them, they give you... It's like Assassin's Creed. You have a whole speech <laughs> afterwards thing, about yeah. how you beat them. And how they've done wrong, but then they give you a TM afterwards. Oh, here we go. Some, this is big stuff, guys. Better. This is I said guys again. Sorry. This is this is huge stuff. Look at him with his power empire. Powers. Your Geo dude won't help you here. <laughs> Squirtle, use water gun attack. That's what they do. They draw the they draw the attack out. Water gun attack. Yeah. Wow. Here comes Onyx. Nope. Not Onyx is fast. He's a fast little, well, big rock snake. Squirtle, use water gun attack again. You know, it just impresses me. Break, uh, Brock's snake's so big. It's always that's now, and got, that's why he's got that hip. And now it's a, it's a big wet snake. Oh, oh. painted. Too so much for him. There. Fourteen. <laughs> big wet snake. Woo! Level fourteen. This guy right here. Look at that. It's max HP. Do you ever, does anyone ever read that? What, Max? No, I don't know. Like, no, yeah, you can. Uh, oh, do you guys read it? Do you? Do you know? Do you care about the mathematics? Do you read it now? Pokemon. Are you Poke Crafters? <laughs> are you Pokemon Crafters, huh? Is that what you are? Hey, I think it's pretty, it's pretty useful. That's good. Gotta love the Boulder Badge. Well done. Well done, us. So it's good. Get us hey, the first door. Now you guys know Squirtle. Like, I mean, you saw it. And we can use Flash. And that wasn't even that hard to get him there. No. That wasn't even that wasn't even hard. That was quite easy. Not even hard, bro. We got a TM that we're probably just gonna sell. I mean, uh, we'll use it, bro. We'll cherish it. 
will cherish it. Yeah. You know what I like doing? I like saving all my TMs until I get to the fourth city and then selling them all and buying protein. Sell them all and buy some protein. That's why. That's, protein's that's expensive. Why, that's why I roll. Protein's about three grand. You can sell a TM for about three a grand. grand. It's a lot, protein. man. It's a lot. You lost again. I just wondering what was up there. Nothing. Here now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Pokemon Museum. Yeah, we'll come back to that later. We won't go in there. We'll get to that later. We don't know anything. Is it worth healing up? Um, I don't think we took Do you know the way to the Pokemon Center? Yeah, we didn't take a single hit. Oh, sweet. Uh, sweet. Straight on to the uh, trainers. Is it... Do we need to buy anything? Some more Pokeballs? Nah. A couple more Pokeballs. Nah. Go on. Nah. Go on. Oh, running shoes. Nah, we'll get Pokeballs. Will we? Oh, red. Yeah, he won't yeah, give like us Pokeballs. Up to you. He'll, he'll give us some... Us. Oh, he's got the running shoes. Ah. Yeah, he'll get running shoes. Oh, I think we should... We should... <laughs> oh. oh, it's tanky I'm feet, man. His feet now, not mine. Uh, I think we should get, let's get a couple so we can have like uh, bye Paris, Clefairy, what's her face? Dear Red, here is a pair of running shoes for my beloved Challenger. What? Challenger? Isn't that from your mum? Yeah, remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't never give up. Is she, is she, is she like the secret ape gym leader? <sighs> mum used Sand Slash. Man, he runs fast. Okay, we did say Poker Market, of course. Oh, yeah, whoops. <laughs> I love his little arms that like, he's like. <laughs> That's how you sprint right there. It's Usain Pokemon trainer here. You, have like, you, you have like no fucking idea where you're going. But I don't spend much time in Pewter City. <laughs> Mainly because I normally pick Squirtle, so I just kill Brock and. Uh, Alright, so how many Pokeballs have we got? Okay, so let's get what? Five? Always have five. Always have five? We don't really need anything else. Oh, Awakening could be. No, nah, no one has any sleep, do they? Burn heal, escape oh, rope. escape. Oh, no, we find an escape rope. Repel. How much are they? A repel. 350. It's not much. Nah, I think we'll be right. You want repel for Diglett's cave. Yeah, do you know I, another fact here? Actually, I'll tell. Ah, we'll talk about when we get to Diglett's cave. Nah, ha, we'll, nah. get, we'll get there, guys. We'll get to Calm down. Look at this. This game's just been made easier. Route 3. Oh, is Raticate. Is Raticate, sorry, in our first lot? Nope, but he will be. Good lad. Switch him out. So, when was Hyperfang? Um, I think everyone, Hyperfang is level 14 or 13. Excuse me, you looked at me, didn't you? Let yeah, me just, let running, me just, uh, where I'm going. double check my brain here. Look at Um, this. yeah, level 13, level 13. Look at this flash in our ass trying to distract us. I'll have none of it. It's a very strange sort of thing that the Japanese have with their animation. I'll have none of it. When Pokemon's involved, just arousal goes out the window, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, sir, you will not. You will not tempt me, Siren. You know, you know what arouses me? A quick attack. <laughs> a good quick attack. That's what arouses me. A strong defense. Oh, Gust. That's cool. Gust. You know, Pidgey, you know Pidgeys, Pidgeys used to start with Gust. Now, you have, now they have to learn it at level 5. Do they? It's because Gust is actually quite a good move. Just saying. <laughs> good. <laughs> More like not good. Oh, hey, we can catch a Spearow around here. We should do that. Can we, though? Hopefully. Because last time we tried... That went wrong. Yeah, I think we'll have to do some off-screen grinding. Yeah. We seem to be struggling somehow to we, catch we, ourselves we, we a spirit. Are, oh, no. Uh, no. It's all right. Not it's now. all right. Ah, quick attack never misses. <laughs> I think you're thinking of Swift. Swift never misses. Your quick attack is supposed to have the most, one of the most accurate attacks in the game. A sand attack's pretty even cool, in an, Even in anime, when they miss quick attack, they're like, But quick attack never misses! Ha <laughs> ha. I bet that was, was Misty that said that. My Pokemon's faster than you. Oh, I see. That's clever. 144. God, cheap bitch. He didn't. He didn't cheap us out. See this? That's weird. So I'm really impressed. I bet if we run back to Viridian Forest, we'll see him. Hmm. Which one is he anyway? Colton. Colton. Do you remember Colton? No. Some of the names. Colton. That's like a. Hey, Colton. It's like a Midwest name. Yeah, it's a weird, one, isn't it? If anyone out, out. Sorry, if anyone else is called Colton. I want to know. Does is anyone in real life called Colton? I thought it was just a fantasy. Yeah, where where do you live? Midwest. Without being weird about it, where do, where do you live? Without being strange. It, but it's somewhere. It's the it's, uh, it's Midwest, man. What level is he up to now? Eleven. Oh, so only a couple more. Couple more. Get ourselves hyperfang, then do some hyperfangage. Get ourselves hyperfang, and then game's over. All right. <laughs> GG game. Every new move the writer learns is GG game. It is. <laughs> when does he evolve as well? Oh crap! <laughs> crap this. Is it worth switching him out? Do you reckon he can survive more? Yeah, I'll survive more, he's Rattata. What's she gonna choose anyway? Good potion him. We got a few trainers to fight. Yeah, ah, I reckon he can do it. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got seven. That's a good point. We seem to be accumulating them. We're not using them enough. Look at our team of ragtag failures. And two good ones. <laughs> two good. That's fair enough. I mean, that's uh, 
Should, let's uh, let's uh, give people another little hint of what we're going to use. In our, you in our do, team. Yeah, you, you, you roll that. I'm so gonna kill you've already, yeah, so as you go, I'm just going to crack on. I'll just have drink. a drink here. Just, I'll, I'll take a back seat from now on. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'll see you in the next episode. So we've got Blastoise, uh, obviously. Obviously, obviously. We're going to have him. Yeah. Raticate. Another one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Gyarados. Yeah. Yeah. And Gyarados is going to be cool. Yeah. Looking forward to him. Yeah, he is. Yeah. We, we need to get ourselves magic art though. Yeah, See, we do. that's what people wonder. People think that it's a rip off getting magic art now than it is to catching one in Vermilion City. I don't think so. This guy likes shorts. Sorry, Karam. I don't know to say that, doesn't he? He's like, yeah. I like shorts. Why aren't you wearing shorts? Uh, I don't know. Shorts all. are comfortable. It, okay, it's all I'm, I'm, I'm happy for you. They're also, very. Oh, I don't know. I find shorts. I find shorts so. uncomfortable. Whenever I'm wearing shorts, I'm like, oh, everyone's looking yeah, at my thighs. Yeah, they tend to ride up. I everyone's don't... looking at my thighs. Mm, yeah, I'm I can not... tell. I'm not, I'm not too pleased with shorts. Swim shorts, now they're, now they're some snuggles Diff there. Different deal. Yeah, yeah, comfortable there. You although... Got, especially if you're in the water, because stuff just floats nicely. Ish, the, issue you know, okay, be, yeah. the issue being with swim shorts, at the end of the day, you get like a weird sort of imprint of the netting. On yeah. You. And if you're on the beach in a swim shorts, all that sand gets up in there. Yeah, and if it comes down to it, the last thing you want is a, is a, is a net imprint. It's, it's itchy. Yeah, it's not what you want. It's itchy. I'm not, we're not going to lie. Oh, Ekans. It's first, not, we haven't, it's not I haven't come across him before. It's just not, it's not a good thing to own. Yeah, so that's uh, that's our deal with swim shorts. What's your deal with swim shorts? Yeah, I mean, do you, like do you not? <laughs> you just, are you more of a speedo man? Ah, I've been a speedo man since I was a young boy. Keeny woman? Is that, is that more, I used, more I used to be I used to be such a speedo man. I think yeah. I had Superman speedos, I up to the Hulk speedos. Is a speedo man. I think every little kid's a speedo man. But then you realise this is inappropriate. It's uncomfortable. It looks a bit strange. Unless you're from Europe. And I wonder if I could, like, if I donned a pair of speedos now, if it'd look strange or if it'd yeah, look it amazing. Would, it would. When we go on, we're going on holiday soon. Don't do that. But we've got like our own little villa, so I don't. We even have need... our own, yeah, our own place, but just don't do that. I, I, I mean, you know. Do you know what's on the off chance that a, a, a local wanders past and sees that? We'll, something we'll get that, deported. I don't know why I've been no. thinking about it. But I have thought about it a little bit. It might be something that other people may have thought of. Because I think it's a bit, it's a bit weird. If you saw someone get into a pool naked, that'd make you think twice about going into the pool, wouldn't it? Yeah. However, yeah. However, swim shorts aren't doing anything really. They're not holding anything in. You sound like a concert, like an MP. <laughs> I'm just saying. But swim shorts aren't doing anything. <laughs> I, mean, I stand. If you, if you think about it, swim shorts are just a bit of material. They're not stopping the water going in and then back out. The water is still the same. So someone may as well. You may as well jump in there naked, and it's not having any different effect on the water. No, but it's sort of a different effect on on perhaps the children in the pool. Oh yeah, I'm um, thinking it ter in terms of like, yeah, obviously you don't want to see that stuff. But then also, once they're below the water, you ain't gonna see it anyway. We, we, well, if you, it depends. If you've got goggles, you go under. Oh yeah, I'm you not don't want to be swimming into some guys. So drunk. that's it's my really that's my view on it. I don't think pools are as hygienic as we think they are. Well, they are they are literally swamped in chlorine. That is true. That yeah, so much. Which your eyes pretty much burn. like if you were if you were a bacteria. And you wandered into when, the um, everyone, as, uh, as everyone, everyone used to pee in pools when they were younger. We do. That's not. That's not even pretend they don't. But, but did you? Pee is, pee is sterile. What was that's your? Not, what was your? Dangerous. What was your strategy for peeing in the pool? Oh, just go for it. Did you like stand still and go for it? Under underwater in the deep end. Are you gonna go for the? Uh, underwater in the deep. Underwater. Underwater in the deep end. That's risky. It's that's not. a strange one. What did you guys do? What I used to do. You like this? I used to jump in the pool. Jump back out, so I was dripping, and then pee. Oh. That's a weird feeling, now. That's a strange oh. feeling. Yeah. Oh, that's on land. <laughs> I stand oh. in the grass, have a thing, thing, don't then jump back in the water. On land. It's oh. very strange. And also, um, as I, it's something about being hot and jumping in the cool water makes you want to pee. Perhaps. So, and in fact, the other way around as well. If you're a bit chilly and you jump into some warm water. Do you think just jumping in water makes you want to pee. Yeah! Has he got so it? Back to the game. Good we lad. have like a fan. Now back to peeing. Um, <laughs> maybe, it's something about water. Oh my it's god, that, whole... that rat is he's struggling. Uh, <laughs> Alert, hyper fan! <laughs> it's the whole idea of, you know, the, uh, the cartoon thing, when someone needs water and you just, you drip. I think it's also something that water, when you, you jump just... in water, you're, something happens to your bladder. Gravity affects your bladder. I think astronauts feel it as well. It's when you jump and then suddenly land, you all land. the water hits the top. But also, I think it's because like gravity before is pushing down in your bladder, but then when you jump in the water, it goes up a little bit, so you feel more 
full than you would do. There's just some science here. It's like if you drink a lot and then jump in the water, like you feel a lot more True. full. Do you know it's an urban myth though that if you swim on a if you swim on a, a, a foot after you've just eaten, it makes you sick. It's a complete urban myth. And also, you can you can't you can still swim. You don't get stitch either. No, you don't. It, it, you know, I've just no realised. In, in all this talking of toilets and everything, we've gone so over. We need to finish this battle. Then we'll have to call it for this video. We're getting powerful as well. Like look, it's, it's happening. Evolved. It's happening quick. You know. You really evolved there. Look at that. That's what I call a. Oh. That's, how you, that's how you pass the time. Eh? That's, that evolved. That's, how, that's how you pass. No, that's how you pass the time. Is you, you just don't pay attention. <laughs> it just happens. It yeah. happens naturally. So uh, I hope you guys at home have, uh, have learned something here today. Learned something about peeing in a pool. I mean, for a strategy now, it's how I'd pee in a pool. Because, I mean, if you just jump to the pool, you're wet. Going to the bathroom is still an issue. Oh, yeah. So I don't know what I actually... I, I haven't been on holiday for a you while, do so I don't know... Slightly sort of... Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to hmm. do when we find ourselves in that situation. Just don't pee in the pool. Okay, no, I won't do that. You know, I mean... That'd be bad. You know, people have to swim in that. You know, if, if you're going, and also it's like a select few people that actually know how to swim in that. If you're going, okay, so let's say. um let's uh, call it for this video, and we'll see you next time. We hope you enjoyed our little chat about um pool peeing etiquette. I have, I've learned a lot. Yeah, I you hope you guys have. You got any particular strategy? Yeah, if you got any preferences, how you go for it. Then uh, I, I don't really want to know, but you know, <laughs> we will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it, and bye bye. Ta-ra.